Hey there, what's going on people? Nico Bowie, reviewer here, coming at you with another knife review. This time we've got a survival knife, a very good one at that too. It's the Schrade SCH-F3N. Um, this is the box it comes in. It's sort of the standard Schrade box that you get with most of your Schrade knives. It's got the model number um, there. Um, it, it is made in China, but Schrade is owned by BTI Tools, which originates in Tennessee, I believe. But um, yeah, enough about the box. We'll get straight to the knife, and this is what we're looking at here. As you can see, there's a lot of lanyard or paracord everywhere. We'll have a look at the blade. So we'll start off with the sheath. Now the sheath is a ballistic nylon sheath, which we all know is known for its durability and rugability. It's got an adjustable Velcro fastening strap with a button clip, which is good so you can secure it in there tight. It's got your, um, it's got your belt loop there. Um, it's got your uh, leg lanyard with a supplied paracord or lanyard cord, if whatever you want to call it. Um, it's Molly compatible. You can see the Molly inserts there. It's also got this extra um, bit of uh, tied up paracord here or, or lanyard which I guess is to be used to be tied to a backpack possibly, or you can take the, because it goes right around the edge of the sheath. So I suppose you can take it off and use it for other survival purposes. Um, it's got a, a hard nylon plastic in a shell for extra se to secure it, to, to securely hold the knife in and give it a bit of extra protection. Um, it's got a storage pouch with a fairly strong Velcro um, strap, um, so I guess that storage pouch can be used for a compass or a flint or, sh or, a, or a sharpening stone or something like that. So um, a nice survival sheath and it comes with everything you need. Um, that that you will any everything that you want in a, in a survival situation. So everything is included with it, with the paracord, the lanyards, and and all that. So um, yeah, nice sheath. I will see the knife in the sheath. So I've got the the velcro, the adjustable velcro done up fairly tight. So that's going to give me a secure fit. I'm hoping it goes in there. It's not really going any anywhere. There's a tiny bit of movement, but nothing much, nothing to worry about. So a nice fit there. Now the handle is a 14.2 centimeter or 5.6 inch true full tang handle. As you can see, the tang goes from the blade, uh, the, the spine of the blade goes all the way around to the tang which goes all the way around to the handles there. Um, it's got a lanyard hole at the bottom with, with a game with supplied lanyard line or paracord if, if that's what you want to call it. I, I, I don't know what the correct terminology is, a, a lanyard, I suppose both of them are correct. It's paracord or it's, it's a, a lanyard cord. Um, the, it's got very ergonomic Makata handles, which we all know Makata is known for its durability and it can withstand um, uh, all, all sorts of temperatures and weather conditions. Um, there's, a, there's a light um, pattern on the, on the Makata handles and deep finger grooves, which provide you with a, with a solid yet comfortable grip. Um, it feels really nice in the hand, like it feels really grippy, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip. Um, and then it's got some thick jimping on the top here, um, 
of the spine of the blade near the hilt where you can place your thumb. So this additional feature um, ensures that um, you're really, really going to get um, a non-slip um, grip um, while using it. I'll just show you that jimping there again. And now we move on to the blade. So we're looking at an 8CR13MOV high carbon stainless steel blade or high carbon, yeah, high carbon stainless steel blade, which is similar to Oz 8. So it's not a, it's not a cheap blade, but it's not the most expensive blade, but it, um, it, it does a job. It's 16.2 centimeters long or 6.4 inches long overall. 30.4 centimeters or 12 inches thickness is a very nice thickness here for for what it is five millimeters or 0.19 inches the weight is 170 grams or or 60 or six ounces i should say um it's a hollow grind and a, as you can see it's a drop point blade um so it's got a choil here which can be used in conjunction with with your jimping there to do some light feathering or or whittling or um, for some finer tasks um, but the knife is also long and it's heavy enough and thick enough for more demanding tasks such as chopping and batoning and there's plenty of videos out there on this Schrade video on the, on this Schrade knife, um, getting torture tested with 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 batoning and chopping, and it performs extremely well. I suggest you check them out. I'm not going to be doing any tests really. I'll be just be doing um, out of the box sharpness tests on a piece of paper. So, but there is a lot of videos out there on this knife to show you how well it can withstand um, a beating. Um, just some labels on it. You got the Schrade label there, and then on the other side you have got the model number there. So all in all, it's a great value for money survival knife. Um, I haven't gone out and used it personally, but like I said, there's a lot of videos out there that show that this is a very, very strong and durable knife. So I'll show you how sharp it came out of the box. I wasn't expecting it to be that sort of sharp, but it does slice through paper all right. It's, it's fairly sharp, not razor sharp, but it is sharp enough to perform the task you'd need it to straight out of the box. It wouldn't need to be sharpened for a while. So yeah, that is the Trade SCH F3N Extreme Survival Fixed Blade Knife Review. That is, I'll get, well, we'll take a closer look around the knife again. Show you that drop point blade. Those nice Makata handles. That thick jimping. That full tang around the entire handle. Secured in very tightly and it, it feels well balanced in the hand it is a bit it is a bit handle handle heavy i've got a place where it's it's hard to find the balancing point on these sorts of knives anyway but that a lot of the weight comes from comes from the handle um i guess because you've got that full tang and those thick micarta handles so um yeah that about sums up the review if you enjoyed this review hit the subscribe button and hit the like button 
Um, and that's Nico Bow Reviewer signing out. Till next time. See you later. Bye bye.